2K could be about to serve us an ace. Well over a decade after the last instalment, the Top Spin series is back, and thanks to a mixture of comfortingly familiar gameplay, new mechanics and up-to-date graphics, it's shaping up to be a Grand Slam return. We've been waiting a long time for Top Spin 2K25, so much so that the last title in the series, Top Spin 4, was released in 2011 for Xbox 360, PS3 and Nintendo Wii, with two entirely new generations of consoles releasing in the 13 years since. We've had Gangnam Style, the Ice Bucket Challenge craze, Brexit, four royal weddings, Roger Federer retiring, and even Donald Trump becoming president. But now, finally, a new Top Spin title is here. And after going hands-on with the game, it looks like Top Spin 2K25 could be worth the long wait. Although the feel of the gameplay is very familiar, a number of new mechanics brings the series into the modern era, the biggest and most obvious of which is the introduction of a shot timing meter. In previous Top Spin games, players were only given feedback on the timing of their shot, triggered by holding and letting go of the shot button during the swing phase, after the ball had been hit. But in Top Spin 2K25, the shot meter is always on screen, and kicks into gear when the ball is travelling towards your player, giving you instant feedback on whether your timing was perfect, too early, or too late. What's interesting about the shot meter is that the green perfect shot window remains the same size no matter the situation on the court, but the speed of the meter moving left and right can vary tremendously, depending on how much time you have to execute the shot. If your opponent hits a weak shot towards you and is fading during the point, it feels like you have all the time in the world to nail a winner. But if your opponent has just hit a perfect shot from the net straight at you, the meter moves so fast that it's almost impossible to produce a decent return. There's a lot going on and every single point is an intense experience, as you have to try and get that perfectly timed shot while also aiming in your chosen direction and keeping an eye on your opponent's movement in your peripheral vision. But that's what makes it so fun as it keeps you locked in. 2K stressed it has put a lot of work into trying to reduce the number of long rallies during long matches. In an attempt to stop the 30 to 40 shot rallies that were fairly commonplace in Top Spin 4 when two decent players went head to head, despite those scenarios being incredibly rare in real life. It has done this in several ways, including the shot meter getting increasingly fast as rallies progress, in addition to an increased chance of unforced errors happening once the fatigue meter plummets during a point. As a result, long rallies now feel like a race of attrition that you just need to survive, adding some additional jeopardy into the mix. The serving mechanic has also been completely reworked, incorporating the new shot meter with the addition of an aiming circle, which you have to move to your chosen area while trying to time your shot. The movement of the aiming circle is particularly sensitive, as you can't just rely on moving it completely to the line on either side, as even a perfectly timed shot can lead to a fault, as the aiming circle increases in size when the ball is hit. All of these features add much needed gameplay variety and difficulty, with 2K taking the already strong gameplay experience from Top Spin 4 and improving the formula. It was a lot of fun. To help get you up to speed with the new gameplay elements, Top Spin 2K25 features a Top Spin Academy mode, with a John McEnroe voiced guide allowing you to learn the basics or practice some of the more advanced shot types. In the build of the game we played, we were only able to access the basic training modules, but even if you're someone who's played previous Top Spin games, it still proves valuable in order to get you up to speed. Graphically, Top Spin 2K25 is a mixed bag, but that being said, it was a pre-release build of the game running on PS5. 2K was keen to emphasise that a lot of effort has been focused on players' signature moves, in terms of how a particular player serves, hits shots, and even moves around the court. With the exception of Roger Federer, who has done some motion capture in person, the other playable characters' signature moves, including active players like Serena Williams, Carlos Alcaraz, and Emma Raducanu, have been reproduced by semi-pro tennis players in France who attempted to emulate the world star's memorable specificity. And you know what? They nailed it. Some of the movements, mannerisms and shots have an uncanny resemblance with Alcaraz's unique serve where he throws the ball slightly away from him and has to stretch towards the ball, being incredibly similar to real life. The power of the current gen consoles shine when it comes to the court surfaces itself too, with slide marks, foot marks and other blemishes on grass and clay surfaces looking particularly impressive. Top Spin 2K25 will feature 48 tennis venues, including Wimbledon, which was missing from Top Spin 4, as well as Indian Wells, Roland Garros, the US Open and the Australian Open, with 2K set to reveal more venues in the weeks leading up to launch. 
we have the chance to experience an exhibition match at each of the venues listed and they all looked superb in the daylight setting. Although we weren't able to experience this in our preview session, players will also be able to experience all of these venues during night 2 in the final release version of the game. However, considering how far into the current gen console era we are, we expected more from the players appearances, including hair and clothing physics. In newly introduced player cutscenes before the start of matches, the player's bag strap is clearly clipping through the clothing, and there were a few occasions where we noticed two identical fan models standing close to each other in the crowd, in addition to other strange texture anomalies. Of course, it's important to note that what we were playing was a pre-release build of the game, and these issues may well be fixed in time for the game's launch next month. Game director Remy Ercolani confirmed to us that Topspin 2K25 will feature a single-player career mode just as Topspin 4 did, but we weren't able to try this out during the preview session. The game's single player mode will be called My Career and will send players across the world as a new tennis star to take on the best, with the aim of becoming Grand Slam champion. We were shown a video of a new My Player character creation tool that will likely be the basis of the career mode experience, with players able to choose from four default builds that can be morphed in a variety of ways, including subtle changes to the eyes, nose, mouth, chin and ears, with more than 30 hairstyles available too. Topspin 4's single player career mode was outstanding, and we're excited to see what Topspin 2K25's will have in store, particularly having experienced a few hours of the title's impressive gameplay firsthand. The good news is that it won't be long until players can get their hands on the game, with the Topspin 2K25 release date set for Friday, April 26th, and from what we've been able to play so far, 2K could be about to serve us an ace. So there you have it guys, in terms of our preview thoughts on Topspin 2K25, what do you think? Will this be a winner or is it just an incoming double fault? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to leave it a like and consider subscribing to the Mirror Gaming YouTube channel to stay up to date with even more videos like this. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.